Oh, if you're a summer fan, you're gonna really like this forecast. If you like storms, you might like this forecast. If you're not a fan of triple digit heat, big time hail, spinny spinny doom doom potential, and damaging winds, you're not gonna like this very much. But we're gonna talk about it nevertheless. Let's talk about it in this Sunday edition of the Texas Weather Roundup. All right, good morning. It is Sunday, the 11th of June, 2023. I'm Texas Storm Chasers Baldy and Chief David Reimer. Yeah, we've got some weather to talk about. Uh, many Junes we don't, but this June we do. It's definitely been a good decade or so since we've had this much severe weather to talk about in the month of June. But here we go. That's what you get when we get into El Nino in the summer months. We tend to be a little more active in the... Uh, thunderstorm department in the later season and that's what we're going to be first off let's talk about heat look it's hot this weekend it's going to get even hotter as we head into this upcoming week high temperatures by mid to late week probably upper 90s to the middle uh 100s 103 to 108 some folks in south texas the edwards plateau into the Rio Grande Plains are probably going to be jumping over 110 later this week unfortunately or fortunately depending on how you look at it all all the recent rains over the last couple months, it's going to be really darn humid. So the heat index values are just going to be miserable along with the humidity. So those heat index values, 105 to 110 plus later this week. It's going to be hot. It's going to be dangerously hot. And the fact that we're just switching pretty much into summer heat without any sort of little buffer means our bodies are going to be stressed for a little while. So... Please take it easy. All right, with that being said, we're going to focus on the severe weather potential now because, well, that's what we're going to do. All right, let's talk about today. We've got a level 2 out of 5 risk for scattered severe thunderstorms this afternoon. That's about a 1 in 5 to a 1 in 6 chance for some thunderstorm mischief. Uh, green zones at level 1, that's about a 1 in 10 to a 1 in 20 chance for some severe weather mischief. Level 2 risk, northern Texas panhandle, and then portions of north Texas and northeast Texas in association with a stalled frontal boundary left over from yesterday's storms. That's going to be a focal point for new vigorous thunderstorm development this afternoon into early this evening. Today's severe thunderstorms, strongest storms, could produce hail up to the size of tennis balls, localized damaging winds 65 plus miles an hour. Tornado threat is lower than yesterday and lower than it's going to be tomorrow. Uh, let's take a look at the high-res rapid refresh model. This will give us a decent idea of, well, one, if I press the right button. Two, here we go. This is the her for this afternoon and this evening. You can see it's not really showing much in the Texas panhandle. That may or may not verify. You can see plenty of stuff ongoing across the Oklahoma panhandle, southwest Kansas, southeast Colorado. But we do see scattered severe storms pop up along that residual boundary this afternoon into early this evening across north Texas and northeast Texas. And again, those storms could be quite rowdy in terms of big hail and damaging straight line winds. Probably not going to see a big complex like we did last night, and that means storms should be relatively localized within that boundary area this afternoon, this evening. I don't think we're going to see a big complex of storms push southeast into the Brazos Valley, East Texas, or Southeast Texas tonight. These storms should be on their way out of the picture by, you know, 10 p.m. to midnight. Can't rule out an isolated severe storm back further southwest in the Concho Valley, but again, for the most part, storms today, North Texas, Northeast Texas, dying off probably by 10 p.m. to midnight, but we're still going to have to deal with some big hail, localized damaging winds, localized heavy rainfall, and a very low but not zero tornado threat. All right, that takes us into Monday. We've got a threat for supercellular thunderstorms Monday afternoon across the big country, Texoma, North Texas, Northeast Texas. Again, the level one to level two risks for severe storms, except tomorrow it looks like we may actually have a bit of a higher threat for a few tornadoes comparatively. We're not talking about a high tornado threat tomorrow, but it does look like our low level wind shear on Monday is going to be a bit stronger, and that does increase the potential for a few tornadoes. I have no... I probably could have just bumped that tornado risk up to low now, but I'll wait for the Storm Prediction Center to add that in on their own outlook later today. But nevertheless, tomorrow's severe storms from about 2 p.m. on the early side through 11 p.m., maybe a little bit later tomorrow. Strongest storms, we could have hail up to the size of baseballs, localized damaging winds 65 to 75 miles an hour, and again, the potential for a tornado or two. 
Let's take a look at the high-res rapid refresh model for tomorrow if I actually press the right button, which apparently isn't going to be a thing I do well today. And you can see tomorrow this her actually has supercells firing up just east of a dry line across the big country. Those storms move east into North Texas, Texoma tomorrow evening and you notice they actually do maintain themselves well into the evening and make it into portions of northeast texas now this would allow for scattered long-lived supercellular thunderstorms again capable of producing swaths swaths whatever the word is of large to very large hail up to the size of baseballs localized damaging wind gusts 65 75 miles an hour and potentially a couple of tornadoes localized heavy rainfall as well so Tomorrow does look like it's going to probably be our highest relative day for the potential for a couple of tornadoes. We're going to have to keep a close eye on it. Uh, the atmosphere today, tomorrow, into Tuesday. Hint, by the way, we're doing some storms on Tuesday. Uh, I realize we haven't gotten there yet, but foreshadowing. Uh, we're going to have a lot of instability, which is to be expected in June. I mean, it's hot. We've got plenty of moisture. Uh, that means the atmosphere is going to be really unstable. Uh, we are also going to have an unusually strong amount of wind shear for June. Typically, are the jet streams all the way up in the northern plains by now, but we're going to have a strong subtropical jet in place. Thanks, El Nino. That's going to allow for strong instability, a pretty good amount of wind shear loft, and all that is going to combine to create a volatile, severe weather setup. All right, now let's get into Tuesday. S threat for severe storms again. North Texas, Texoma, East Texas, Northeast Texas, with lower risk across western North Texas into the northern Brazos Valley into the Golden Triangle. Strongest storms, we could have hail up to the size of tennis balls at least. The potential for wind gusts, 65, 75 miles an hour. It's really not that difficult to get really strong wind gusts when you have such an unstable atmosphere in place. And then perhaps a brief tornado. Low-level wind shear is going to be much weaker on Tuesday, the way it looks now, than it is going to be tomorrow, kind of like today. But we'll just have to keep an eye on things. So again, we've got the chance for severe storms this afternoon and this evening, Monday afternoon into Monday night, Tuesday afternoon into Tuesday night across pretty much all of the same areas with the exception that tomorrow is going to start off further west in portions of the big country and then move east. So that is the rowdy severe weather forecast for the next few days. And again, uh, we may not be dealing with, well, I don't think we're going to be dealing with many tornadoes. Let's be perfectly blunt here. The main issues the next three days are going to be big hail, strong winds, with the occasional tornado or two, especially on Monday. But nevertheless, if we end up with, say, baseball-sized hail over parts of a highly populated area, well, I mean, we did that back on June 12, 2012, which 11-year uh, anniversary is ironically tomorrow. So, eh. I mean, last time we did that in the Metroplex, that was a billion dollars 11 years ago, and <laughs> well, inflation's done a couple of things since then. So hopefully we can get through... The next couple of days without another billion dollar hail disaster but mama nature's gonna do what mama nature's gonna do so with all that being said we'll be keeping an eye on things here at the texas storm chasers we'll have chasers out and about over the next several days and weather updates posted on the texas storm chasers website mobile app and on the various social media channels we'll have the next texas weather roundup out by 7 a.m on monday with more videos later today and this evening likely Y'all make it a great Sunday. Stay cool if you're heading out and about while the weather is not stormy and make it a good one.